Hello everyone, my name is Theo Out The Door and today I just want to showcase this really nice roundabout. It moves a lot of traffic. You might think it's backing up a bit on this side but this is just how interchange test map works. One side always backs up for some unknown reason. But yeah, all the other sides will actually clear, so you can see the last cars do actually just clear the junction. Yeah. Essentially, this to me is a is a replacement for any displaced left. This is a very hostile interchange or intersection because like, look at the crossings. It's kind of terrible. As for this, you can cross in, well, very quick phases, and, well, he's just breaking the rules, but you can stop all the cars and just walk across. The only place where you actually ha have to look out for cars is this tiny section. This is the only place where cars don't come to a full stop, but yeah, it's pretty safe. And you can always walk outside the roundabout, cross this one, and go back here. Which is, yeah, it's pretty neat. It moves, in my opinion, more traffic than this, although the four sided this place left might move more but that's even worse since since um you have an extra two roads going in like this which that's come on no, nobody wants that so yeah there's there's pretty much no reason to build this if you can fit one of these. It's also really small and compact. This only moves a very minuscule uh, less amount compared to this. They actually move practically the same amount of traffic. You might need to make the light phases a bit shorter on this. Another benefit, as you can see, there's a tram road it can just go straight through, it never needs to stop. As long as your priority signs are set up for the trams rather than the cars and you simply do not allow cars to enter the junction. You can even allow the tram to just enter the junction. And yeah, <laughs> this tram will never need to stop at this intersection, which is super good. And the last thing is the lane connectors. It's pretty simple. There's always two straight through lanes, one left turn lane and one right turn. All the right turns are basically instant. You just turn right and you're off the roundabout. The outermost lane is practically a slip lane. And yeah, the left turn can just turn here to go left basically skipping the right half of the roundabout and well a added benefit of building a roundabout you can make u-turns so yeah no matter from which direction it's always possible to make a u-turn since you can always stay in the innermost lane you can just go around the roundabout forever Whereas this probably isn't the best thing to do a U-turn in. Which is okay for certain circumstances, but you can just build a roundabout. That is uh, way better in my opinion. These are all the lane connectors. And lastly, these are all the traffic lights. It's only two phases and they, they are pretty simple. I do suggest um, switching pedestrians to manual, so 
you can replicate this completely. Pedestrians won't block cars and it'll be just overall safer in a realism point of view. So yeah, two phases moves a really large amount of traffic. Yeah, and that's it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.